Hi, I'm um, going to create a little uh, Warner coaster here. So I'm going to start in the part design workbench, create a sketch, and uh, <clears throat> uh, create like a circle for the shape of the coaster. You could use any shape you like, but I'm doing a circle. And uh, I'll make mine about um, 85 millimeters, and that'll be a good size to uh, fit under my cup. So uh, that's what I'll use right here. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to exit the workbench and um, then go into the uh, part workbench itself and I'm going to create a face out of this uh, circle I just created so use the make face command and the uh, Voronoi pattern is going to go on top of this face so I'm going to select this face here and uh, <clears throat> run the uh, Voronoi macro I have a link to that posted uh, points is a density around which the uh, Voronoi patterns are going to make up uh, and then the uh, offset uh, makes the thickness of the lattice kind of um, I choose 50.85 and then 0.5 for the tessellation and then I re-randomize and ran it and this is a pattern it generated and then um, so we're done with that face I'm just going to go ahead and hide it and then I'm going to select that sketch and uh, extrude it to about three millimeters that's a good uh, height for the coaster I'm making and uh, so yeah and I'll just call this a tool this is going to be used to cut out the pattern out of another um, extrude we're going to make here so I'll go back to uh, another sketch and then uh, on the same plane I'm going to create a slightly larger circle and uh, this is um, um, going to be what we're going to cut out the other pattern we just created. So go ahead and um, size that up. I did a slightly larger circle so it gets a kind of a brim on the uh, coaster. And I uh, exited the sketch and I'm going to go ahead and extrude this to the same thickness as I had done the uh, kind of the Voronoi tool that's going to be used to cut out from this. So once this is done, um, I'm going to go ahead and call this like a plate. Uh, so the plate is um, the slab we're going to cut out of. So see, I'm, then I'm going to go into the um, uh, Boolean operation and do a difference. The plate's already selected, so I'll just select that uh, tool that we had created from the Voronoi pattern. And voila, this is it. Uh, just now some little administrative things, save my file, call this uh, let's say Voronoi Coaster. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and then this is the product we created. So this is kind of like the end result. So I'm going to name that product. And this product is really what you want to export to SDL for your slicer. So I hope you enjoyed this. It was uh, fairly quick once you get a hang of it, how to make these. And of course, it's random, so you could create different ones. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.